So here we are. We're back. So we're getting ready to finish this up. That iron over there has been cooking for those other parts. And we cleared up some space, hopefully, to be able to add in some of this here lead. Good thing lead and iron don't mix. And we'll get this lead cooked up and we'll make a block or two out of it. And yeah, we'll just go with a block. We'll put this other lead back. Once we get the automated process up and running, this won't be an issue. It's just getting this stuff initially set up. So you already noticed that we're already pretty low on lava. So this will definitely help us out. Because we can really use it. This lead should cook through. As soon as it comes out. And it'll allow us to make that one block of lead that we're going to need because we're going to need a couple ingots of lead for these hardened fluiducts. Let this iron cook up. So I think once we automate this, then we're going to try to get into setting up those furnaces and automate them with a few hoppers for the coal and for this the cobblestone because we're going to need quite a bit of stone i'm not entirely sure what design i'm going to go with this time but it's going to be a cross between um the stone bricks and birch um, planks it tends to be my favorite combination i just like the color contrast between the two and I think we can make something that looks really, really nice between them. Okay, so our lead is ready to go. As soon as this block gets up there, I'll swap it out and we'll be good to go. Always remember, whatever's on bottom is the one that's going to come out first. And there we go. So now we got the first block of lead coming out. And hopefully we'll be able to get the second one by the time this finishes up. Oh, we have to actually cook up another block of iron before that happens. So let's swap it back out. But we at least have one, which is more than enough. And it'll get us the few ingots we need to get us started. There we go. So let that cook back up. You should be good now to set everything back up the way it was. Put our timer back on. And let it be. Because it'll let out the lead on the next run. And then it'll go back to doing all the iron. See? Very nice. Okay, so let's make this let's make this ducting. Pretty simple recipe. That'll get us exactly what we need. Ooh, I bet you we need a crescent hammer to change the to change um, the direction of that one pipe. So let's see what we can do here. Let's find our little crescent hammer here. There she be. So it looks like we're gonna need tin and some iron. I think we have tin already. Yes, yes we do. And of course we're already carrying iron. So we're good to go. Let's make this little crescent hammer and be ready to go. I enjoy the crescent hammer anyway. It's one of the best tools that, in my opinion. Okay, so we should just be able to click right there. Uh-oh. Did they change how it works? Hmm. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. So I just changed the output of the portable tank instead of putting a servo here on the, the fluid duct, so I allowed gravity to do the work. So now our seared tank has exactly what it needs. It has all the fuel it needs to last quite a while, which is nice. So we have... A ton of fuel 
we have a lot of iron we'll be making blocks for days and days and days which is nice so now that we got this system set up and running let's empty our inventory out a bit and then we'll look at making those furnaces for that cobblestone um, smelting system okay so there we go probably gonna want to pull these out of our inventory I have a feeling they just give me nothing but trouble so we'll take some cobblestone which we've acquired quite a bit of and we'll keep these chests here we we'll probably should make some more chests we could use uh, some more of that there we go I have a feeling we'll be making more hoppers in fact let's make four more hoppers so grab some iron that won't be enough iron let's go over here there we go man I wonder if inventory tweaks is in here I seem to be having quite a few inventory hiccups I'll have to look into it so let's go with one two three we'll do three sets on this one yep that should be enough and what we'll do here is we'll make three oh, nope if we do that if we use three furnaces we need six hoppers so for six hoppers we're gonna need three more and four more of those we need some more iron oh it's night again okay so that will leave us with one extra chest so we'll build a setup here that should be able to take advantage of that okay one two three one two three there we go now we have well I should, could put the other two in there now we have the six hoppers that we're gonna need so should I build this inside or outside Eh, let's just make it outside so we we'll use the side of the building here we got our one main chest here let's attach three hoppers to it this is basically going to be our output so then on top of that we'll sit our chest which we shift click into place and then we're going to put our fuel in it. I think it all has to go to the same side for the coal here. Oh, I might need some more hoppers. Eh, we got plenty of iron. We can make it right up. Okay, so let's make some more chests. Let's see here. Okay, so that should be good enough. Do three more just to make sure that we have enough. There we go. So these ones are going to actually put the cobblestone down in there. Oh, we got a buddy. This is why we leave knights alone. There we go. He is gone. I have that weird permanent sun thing that never seems to move from that spot in the sky. So, traded one weird set of lines on one pack for <laughs> some permanently placed sun on the other. But when I'm in the mining world, the sun traces the proper path and I actually have the moon. It's kind of odd. But it is what it is okay so now on top of that we're gonna put our chests I know I could just build a thermal expansion redstone furnace set up but eh who wants to do all that this is clearly more fun okay so we'll be cooking up the cobblestone anyway so let's grab some cobblestone ok 
Okay, that should be enough to get us started. Go up here. That in there. That in there. And put that in there. So there we go. We have a little bit in each. Now let's go over here. Should cook up some trees. We'll just use some regular coal for right now. And to prevent us from doing a burn problem, we'll just use that much. There we go. Okay. That'll give us a third of each, if I remember correctly. Should perfectly break into thirds. Yep, that'll perfectly break into thirds. Makes it easier. Okay, so, all three of them are cooking. Cobblestone's gonna be dropped down into the chest. Good enough. Or, I mean, stone will be dropped down into the chest. Now what we can do is upgrade that chest. Throw that in there. We already have iron. Yep, we already have iron. Well, let's grab two of you. Ooh. I don't think I have that mod in here. Hmm. Okay, so I can't reconvert those back into planks, so we gotta make some new ones here. There we go. We got our wooden chest upgrade, which will give us an expanded storage. Put these in here next to those. Take this here. There we go. All better. All better. It doesn't have to be this complicated, but eh, I'll eventually use all the hoppers, so it's no big deal. But we at least have that set up now. And as you can tell, we're gaining quite a few blocks of iron over here, and that block of lead that's done. See, I'll just have to stuff something else in there, so it'll keep going. Yep, still working like a champ. So, we'll go over here, and we'll grab, let's say, tin, because tin doesn't mix with... Um, iron and we'll take it and put it in there so now we'll have all of our tin cooked and when the tin gets done we'll do all the copper and so on and so forth we got to be careful tin and copper do mix they make bronze so see we're just pouring out the the stone so we'll be nice and ready to go when the time comes now we'll go over here and harvest the garden while we're at it. There we go. You also see I put my little actual edition worms in there. Helps out. Got some canola going for when I want to start doing power generation. I think that might be one of the next things we do is power generation. So be prepared. We're going to start building real machines on the next few episodes. It'll actually help us out quite a bit. But I want to have a real house set up before I um, before I decide to put any real machines down, just in case. For those that are wondering how I have this set up to make it look like this and to work like this, there is a channel of water running underneath the mountain. I carved it in there myself. So if you look, it's water running all across there. It makes it so you don't have to see it as as much and so that the stuff doesn't fall down into the water then I gotta jump down into the water and get it so for me this is just pretty efficient this way so let's go put this stuff away and let's prepare for this to be the end of this particular episode I'm not really sure what we're gonna get into on the next episode but hopefully I have the house pretty much done by the next episode so that we can start putting some machines inside because I'd like to get to thermal expansion machines so I can automate the additional resource collection instead of doing it this way we'll use the pulverizer which has a chance of giving us additional resources when we pulverize but I'd also like to get into maybe making like um, environmental tech solar system 
as a part of, as a part of our setup so that we can power those machines and eventually getting into some sort of um, automated mining whether it be through robots of open computers which I haven't had a chance to experiment with yet or maybe having some fun with an IC2 miner or something along those lines there's plenty of things to experiment with and plenty of things to do and I appreciate you guys joining me on this episode and I hope to see you guys on the next episode um, so this is me signing out um, please don't forget to like subscribe and share